High above the Berlin Wall today, Mrs. Thatcher spotted an East German border guard watching her. Has anyone got a pair of binoculars? Can we look at them? Is there anybody looking? In the watchtowers amid the new detente, it was in fact business as usual. With binoculars by now produced, Mrs. Thatcher ascertained it for herself. For her and the leaders of the world's conservative parties, paying tribute to those who died here, the graffiti-strewn wall had been deliberately chosen to stress the point that dominated their conference here. For whilst all praised the new medium-range nuclear weapons deal, they rallied to Mrs. Thatcher's warning that the Russians needed to be judged on deeds rather than words. Don't look at what they say. Look at what they're doing. Look at their record on human rights. They are still in Afghanistan. Uh, look at the amount of arms they supply to, to countries which need food, whereas we often supply the food and not the arms. Look at all of those things and don't judge by what they say. One of the things the Russians are saying is that in the Persian Gulf, they would like to see a UN force. Who in the world would be a commander? How would the rules of engagement be done? They'd all come under all members of the United Nations. How in the world would you get agreement among the United Nations as to how that force should use its power? You wouldn't. You've only got to give a moment's thought to it, to know that you wouldn't. So you would veto it? I wouldn't veto it. There wouldn't be no good. There'd be no point. You'd never get agreement on rules of engagement. The Soviet Gulf Initiative apparently hold in the water then, Mrs. Thatcher left here very much the author of an overall message to the superpowers that in the enthusiastic build-up to the summit, talk of further nuclear disarmament in Europe should not be allowed to get out of hand. John Snow, News at 10, Berlin.